usually when I'm training upper body, uh, I'm starting with the external rotations or rotator cuff muscle group. The reason being is that it, it prevents injury and uh, uh, rotator cuff is uh, responsible for stabilizing the shoulder and keeping a good shoulder health, okay? So I usually start with this and then moving on to the exercises. I'm gonna do Just keep in mind that I don't have a cameraman, I'm filming myself, so it, it won't be the best scenario to explain, but I'm just doing my best. So this exercise right here is one of my favorite exercises in the gym, in a way that it targets upper chest, right? And I prefer dumbbells over barbells in a, because you can move them as you want, because they are freely movable. And um, if you have a barbell, you cannot control fully the movement because it can move in two directions only up and down right the dumbbells can move to the side and it can move inwards and that's why i'm doing this uh, over the barbell because i can move uh, towards the middle so the chest will contract more and um, if you are looking for muscle hypertrophy or muscle growth i recommend you to do dumbbells over barbell but um, you can always switch it from time to time. to write down notes uh, from the compound lifts squats let's say bench press or shoulder press you don't have to write down every single stuff in the gym but at least write down the most important stuff because it's really important to keep track uh, of your lifts and because let's say for example you're training hard and your your lifts aren't going up so you can see what's going wrong with other stuff let's say if you're not sleeping enough or you're not eating enough other uh, causes of um, distraction right so you can then see what's what you can improve in other aspects so i always recommend you to write down compound lifts if you're really if you're really serious about making progress all right and i'm doing this for six years or more and i should have done it before but i didn't think about it but at least we are here and doing the stuff we need to do right so <laughs>
Next exercise I want to talk about is the lateral raise. This is one of the most common exercise people do wrong in the gym. They're trying to raise the weight up and by hands. Don't use your hands, use your elbow. Because if your hands are, uh, let's say on top of the movement, if your hands are above elbow, you won't get any good contraction of the muscle. Try to raise with elbow and try to keep at least the same line with your hand and elbow or even lower. Try to imagine that you're pouring water out of a bottle, okay? That kind of movement. So, and then try to raise it uh, side on, to the side, not up. Because if you're raising it up, you, use, you will use more of the trapezius, okay? And uh, yeah, so that's uh, my take on this. And try to do it slowly. Um, leave your ego out of the gym and don't cheat. This is, a, this is an isolation movement, so you don't have to have heavy weight. And I recommend doing minimum 10 to 12 reps, up to even 20 or even 25 reps for this exercise. So don't forget that machines has a place in the gym too because in a way that they are less risk for injury and because they move only in one direction unlike the free weights because free weights you have to stabilize and it can move in all kind of directions. Free weights um, doesn't suit for older people because they have less neurological adaptation. Um, so usually when I have clients uh, of older clients let's say 45-50 years I I tell them to start with machines and just get the motion in control and then slowly moving to um, free weights because everyone can be everyone can learn quicker with machines and also machines can isolate muscle more because because you have less things to concentrate on right you don't have to concentrate and think about um, stabilizing the weight you, you just have to move the weight and contract uh, but yeah keep that in mind also Please let me know what you would like to see more of in the comment section below so I could have an idea what I can make for you guys and it's not easy recording the video myself but I'm doing my best and yeah let me know and I'll see you in the next video.